Is it possible that the first humans on earth, Adam and Eve, could have been black with dark skin? Now, according to the Bible, all humans on earth to have ever existed came from two people, Adam and Eve. So every single race, the African race, the Asian race, the white race, they all come from Adam and Eve, every single race on earth. Here's why I think it's quite possible that Adam and Eve could have been black. Now, women of African descent are very unique because scientifically they have something in them called the Eve gene. You can do research on this yourself to confirm. So scientifically, the black woman is the only organism that possesses the mitochondrial DNA that has all variations possible for every different kind of human being on Earth. When the DNA of a black woman mutates, all the other types of human beings come out. Now here are the facts. A white couple cannot produce a black baby because they don't have enough melanin in them. But a black couple can produce a white baby with blonde hair and blue eyes. It's called albinism. Which is this mother and daughter with white skin and blonde hair and bright eyes. Like for part two. Alright, proof Adam and Eve could have been dark skin part two. Now as I stated in the previous video, it's not really possible for Adam and Eve to be white because a white couple cannot produce a dark skinned baby because the white couple does not have enough melanin in them. However, a black couple can produce a white baby known as albinism with blonde hair and blue eyes and white skin. That's because the black woman is unique and has something called the Eve gene. Here's one example of a mother and daughter. Here's more proof the black woman carries every possible genetic variation with her genes. The black woman gave birth to all humans on earth. In Genesis 2-7, Adam is created from the dust of the ground. Our dark soil is rich with lots of organic matter. Here's a good question, if Adam and Eve were white, where did the black people come from? Well, Adam and Eve were most likely dark-skinned. Because like I said before, scientifically, a white couple cannot produce a dark-skinned baby. However, a dark-skinned couple can produce a white baby known as albinism. Mutation in the DNA causing white skin, blonde hair, and blue eyes. Like and follow for part three. All right, proof Adam and Eve could have been dark skin part three. Now, as I stated in part one and two, the black woman is unique because she has something called the Eve gene, and out of this Eve gene, she can produce every type of race that exists right now, such as white, blonde hair, blue eyed people, known as albinism, like this. Now, this is what people look like from the Solomon Islands. Very unique, beautiful looking people with blonde hair, dark skin, and blue eyes. Now here's a good question, if white babies can be produced from a black couple and they can have blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin, then what about Asian people? Now one of the distinct features that Asian people have is the eye shape. So if Adam and Eve were black, how do Asians fit into the picture? Here's how. This is an indigenous sand tribe of Africa. This is where Chinese people are descended from and other Asians as well. As you can see, they look very similar to Asian people except they are dark skinned and many Asians such as Chinese and Japanese are pale skinned. Here's more pictures of people from the sand tribe. As you can see, they are very similar. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and we're done.